friends this is normal hifu technique and in this video we will talk about the samsung galaxy on next and we and we'll try to cover up a lot of questions uh, uh, on this device so this is a 15 point faq video on the samsung galaxy on next so without any delay let's get started with the uh, faq so first up the sensors available on this device so since this is samsung uh, mid range phone uh, you might uh, find lot of sensors missing some might be there some might not be present so samsung galaxy on next comes with uh, just the proximity sensor and accelerometer there's no ambient light sensor there's no gyroscope there's no compass sensor so a lot of sensors are missing there's just the accelerometer and the proximity sensor available on the samsung galaxy on next so that is the sensor information now talking about the display So this is a TFT display unlike the Super AMOLED panels you might find on uh, the J series phones so this is a TFT display while the display looks quite good uh, the viewing angles are also quite decent the colors also look uh, pretty good but then it's not as vibrant as the Super AMOLED panel obviously Super AMOLEDs are much more superior than the TFT panels but then you have a 2.5D curved Gorilla Glass protection on this device so that's something really good from Samsung So display is definitely above average but not really as good as the Super AMOLED panels. Now next up we have the SIM card information. So here we have a dual SIM card and a micro SD card expansion slots. You can see here there are two slots. One includes a SIM card and another includes a SIM card and the micro SD card. So this is not a hybrid SIM card. You can use two SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time. and uh, a lot of you uh, might be interested in knowing if this supports geo sim card and volte yes samsung galaxy on next has support for geo sim cards and you can use a uh, uh, volte on this device so that is the sim card information now the storage so this phone comes with 32 gb internal storage and out of which around close to 24 gb is available to the user in the first boot and you can expand the storage via micro sd card Now next up we have the fingerprint scanner. So this is one of the few devices from Samsung below the 20k price point with the fingerprint scanner. So the fingerprint scanner is uh, integrated with the home button. So this is a physical home button and uh, the fingerprint scanner is included with this button. But unlike a uh, lot of devices with a uh, physical home button, uh, the fingerprint scanner is capacitive. That means you just need to tap on it and you don't have to press and hold it. If you just tap on it, it will unlock the device. And we already done a detailed video on the fingerprint experience of the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime or the On Next. So you can also check out that video to see how responsive the fingerprint scanner is. We we'll link we'll have the link available in the description of this video for you to have a look at it. So the fingerprint scanner is quite responsive and does the job pretty well. Now let's move on to the software of this device. So this phone runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with, along with TouchWiz UI, and the UI looks really polished and uh, does a good, quite good job. And there are no bloatways included except for few Microsoft apps and few Samsung apps. Almost all apps are pretty useful and uh, uh, just the basic apps included. And if you go to the settings, you also see additional options like. Uh, Uh, easy mode then there is support for themes uh, we have lot of added features like advanced features like gesture support so some uh, quite good uh, options are included there's also smart manager and there's a new app called uh, uh, s secure which uh, provides you with option to lock and hide apps there is also a secure folder which is a new feature so overall the software looks really polished and uh, does a quite good job without any issues Now talking about the performance, so this phone runs on an uh, octa-core chipset that's an X Exynos uh, 7870 octa-core chipset, which is coupled with 3 gigabyte RAM, and the day-to-day -day performance was quite good, no lags or issues, and it does a quite good job overall. So the performance on this device in a day-to-day -day, uh, basis is uh, pretty good, and no major complaints here. Next up, we'll talk about the gaming experience. So the gaming experience uh, was not that great. Uh, it was pretty laggy in nature when we played almost all games with uh, high graphic settings. It was uh, virtually unplayable and uh, uh, it is not really suited for heavy gaming. But at medium settings, you could uh, definitely play. But for a device priced at 19k, almost close to 19k, we would ex definitely expect a much better gaming experience on this device. So uh, gaming experience is definitely disappointing on the Samsung Galaxy or Next. Next up we'll talk about the camera performance. So this phone comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera, LED flash and a front facing 8 megapixel camera. So camera looks quite decent uh, uh, performer in this uh, segment but considering the price point of 19k we would have expected a slightly better camera performance. It was not really the best but we would say it's uh, definitely above average performance. but definitely not the best in this category where uh, we have lot of devices with better cameras so camera performance could have been better but you won't be disappointed with the camera experience 
Next up, we'll talk about the battery performance. So this phone comes with a 3300 mAh battery and the battery performance was uh, pretty good on uh, uh, this device when we tested the battery with uh, uh, different apps running in the background and uh, we could easily get through one day of usage uh, uh, with uh, this device and battery wouldn't uh, be a major issue uh, with day-to-day uh, -day usage and we're pretty happy with the battery performance. So next up, the speaker performance. So the speaker is located on the side panel that's quite a different uh, position for a speaker generally it's located either on the bottom panel or on the rear panel but we have it on the side panel and the performance from this uh, speaker is quite good it's pretty loud and no major issues uh, uh, but while playing games uh, you just have to uh, place your finger properly otherwise it will uh, hinder with the sound uh, from the speaker so that's the only issue but that's uh, that happens only while gaming but other than that the speaker performance was more than satisfactory so next up uh, we have the USB OTG functionality. So uh, this device does support the USB OTG and we have just inserted a pen drive to this and uh, you can uh, see that this, uh, this detects the pen drive and you can uh, access uh, your files uh, uh, from uh, uh, the pen drive on this device. Uh, so that's something uh, really good. Uh, you can uh, connect your computer peripherals and access the device, uh, access the files on this device using the OTG cable. So this device supports OTG out of the box. So next step, we will talk about the notification LED. So this device does come with a notification LED and the LED light is located here. On this uh, place, we have a notification LED. So uh, if, you, if you get any notification on this device, uh, the LED light glows. Now finally, the availability of this device. So Samsung Galaxy on next is priced almost 18,400 rupees and this is available exclusively on Flipkart. So if you want to buy this device, we have the link available in the description of this video. You can check out the link and that helps our channel. And if you want to buy it uh, in uh, retail stores, it's available as Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime with 16GB storage while the Honor Next comes with 32GB storage. So we would definitely suggest you to pick from Flipkart because you get additional storage for almost same pricing. So the J7 Prime is also priced around 18500 or 18700 and this device is priced at 18400. So definitely it's better to buy from Flipkart because you get additional storage. So that was a 15 point FAQ on the Samsung Galaxy on next. Hope this answers all your queries. If you have anything more, uh, you can just uh, shoot a comment in the comment section and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So that's all guys with the FAQ video on the Samsung Galaxy on next. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.